All right, welcome to the Robert Show. We are here at Google Next, and it's day one. I'm super excited to be with uh, Paul Lewis, who's the CTO at Paytheon. Paul, welcome to the Robert Show. It's your debut. I'm super excited to chat with you. Thank you very much. Big fan. Thank you. Constantly watching the content. Looking forward to watching it again. Appreciate it. And uh, I'm excited to chat because, uh, first of all, it's day one. And we've also seen the keynote uh, back there. I know you were there. I, yep. I'm kind of curious to learn a little about the key takeaways. Uh, if you have some key takeaways that you can share with our audience, sure. but also would love to get into the AI piece and also about the partner piece as well. Sure, we can do that. Sounds good. Let's let's go with the key uh, announcements and key takeaways that you have from the keynote. So here's what I heard this year as compared to last year, right? So last year, a lot of agent conversations, right? but they tend to be what we could build. True. This year, agents exist. What right? we have built. Exactly, what we have built, what's already embedded in the applications, right? right. Agent space for what I'll generally refer to as people productivity type work. Yeah. Um, and then Vertex AI for process productivity type work. Exactly. Right? Um, and then of course the embedded AI features of BigQuery and the databases and and of course, workspace itself. Yeah. Gemini being the you know the big deal. In big fact, deal. if from a CIO's perspective, implement, implementing Gemini app and workspace is the way to get over the complexity of learning AI philosophically. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I love it, and that's what we've been kind of hearing from the other enterprise leaders as well. Where you know, 2024, maybe 2025, a little bit as well was the year of implementation, but. Yeah, uh, now we've been kind of, you know, everything's kind of now much more into the game. So, curious to know your thoughts uh, about Paytheon as well. How's Paytheon kind of helping enterprise leaders in the AI space? We want to l definitely learn more about the agents and all of those right. kind of things. We focus on four things in AI. Nice. Because we know there's sort of four different levels of maturity. So, first and foremost, vast majority of the enterprises to which we meet are still on the education side. Right. Right, so, they understand the language, but they don't understand the terms. So we have a field CTO practice. Actual CIOs and CTOs and CDOs that have done this before, yeah. we come in and do education and activation. Right? Love it. The goal is to say, tell me about your 400 use cases, because we think there's only five. Yeah. Right? And it's normally true. We see 400 and 350 of them are analytics. Uh, give me a list that, dot, 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 right? It's not really AI, but then we can narrow it to the five that matters we can implement. Yeah. So that's the first one. The second one is much more about people productivity, right? Yeah. Agent space, hmm. things like enterprise search, which yeah. is valuable for two things, right? It's, I know there's a piece of information in my company, but I don't know where it is, where so it is. look for it. Exactly. Or give me a comprehensive a debrief on a topic. Right. Tell me about this customer, this product, this, this transaction. Very helpful. Right, which yeah. is great. Yeah. Uh, third one is build, right? So once we get find the five that we want to implement, yeah. let's narrow it, let's not do the million dollar project, let's do the, <laughs> let's do the four week project with a 30 minute ROI. Yeah. So we see those all the time. Exactly. Um, and then finally, uh, implementing those AI features, all those data agents uh, within, within analytics, BigQuery, within AlloyDB, within databases, yep. within Looker, yeah. you know, how do we enable those? Cause those require expertise, and not not all data engineers have that expertise. Yeah, no, we love it, 100%. And uh, those are four, definitely the big pillars of AI as well that right. we see. And I've been, you know, I talk to a lot of enterprise leaders, and they always go through, you know, like not everyone's building all the four, but then still they would want something like this. So right. that's fantastic. I'll definitely keep uh, sharing more resources with our audience from Paytheon as well. Uh, one more quick question. I know you all have been a massive partner with Google, and uh, congratulations on being named as the in the category of databases. Uh, you all were awarded as the partner of the year. Yes. I'm curious to know a little bit about the Google Cloud and uh, Paytheon partnership. We uh, well our history, our mandate as an organization, we managed 25,000 databases in 2,000 environments for Florida it's customers. massive, yeah. Over the last 28 years. So our, our expertise absolutely is core data sources. Yeah. That might be database, data warehouse, data lake, it's all part of that process. Yeah. So our innovation, which is why it makes us really exciting, to learn of winning the database part of the year for North America, because of all the effort and energy we put, not only into knowing the 34 different pieces of technology, but doing a lot of the migrations and modernizations from those traditional databases yep. to the cloud SQLs and AlloyDBs and big tables and spanners 
because that requires you know, maturity of code. It requires maturity of, of the application environment. It right. re requires maturity of automation, right? Yeah. Um, and we're at the forefront of helping that, helping enterprises move there. Fantastic, I love it. Uh, thanks for sharing all those details, uh, Paul. One more quick question for you. If folks want to reach out to you, which is the best place, LinkedIn, uh, do you share content on LinkedIn or X? Me Where personally? You yeah. Absolutely. Paul Lewis CTO and all the all the channels. Uh, you <laughs> awesome. can go, of course, to the Pythian channel and see all of our great content and see all of our press releases this week. Fantastic, we can't wait and uh, thanks for sharing uh, all the great insights and we'll keep the conversation going. Awesome, thank you. Thank you, thanks Paul, such a pleasure. You too. Thank you everyone for joining us today.